Hi guys, welcome to Java coding interview question. In this tutorial, we'll see we'll write a Java program to print Floyd's triangle. To print Floyd's triangle. So, what is a Floyd's triangle? So, if you see the numbers here, this is a Floyd's triangle. So, if you observe the pattern of the numbers, so first row we have number one, second row we have number two, three, and third row we have four, five, six, and fourth row we have seven, eight, nine, ten. That means we have four rows, four rows. So first uh, we will uh, find some observations, and based on the observations, we will build the logic. And after building the logic, we will go to code and we will write the code and we will execute the program. Okay. So the first one is first observation. If you see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in the flat triangle, each number number is keep on incrementing. Don't forget this. This is one of the important key point here. Number is keep on incrementing. And in the second step, if you see here, in the first row we have one element. In the second row we have two elements. Third row we have three elements. And fourth row we have four elements. Okay. In each row, we have, based on the number of rows, we take one, two, three, four. Total we have how many rows? Four rows. And in each row we are printing the elements. Each row we have different element set. In the first row we have one element, second row we have two different two elements, in third row we have three elements and fourth row we have four elements. So since we have two different combinations, one is row, first one is column and the other one is row. So if you take column, we have four columns and in each column we are take, we are printing rows. So that is the reason we need two for two for, we need two for loops two for loops and uh, if you observe the first for loop the first for loop is for this number of rows one two three four number of rows we have first for loop and the second for loop is for printing the values in the each row printing the values in the each row we have one more for loop so we need two for loops and in each and in and in the for loop what we need to do we need to increment the number and in the inner for loop what we need to do we need to increment the number okay now let's go to the flat triangle program and write a main method and code now i'll explain how to write a code for this main method And here we will write like uh, first uh, what is the first thing is like main method I have written a main method and in the second one int n comma num int n comma c comma d comma num equals to 1 int n comma c comma d comma num equals to 1. So I will tell you what is this n, what is this c for, what is the d for, what is the num for. So this n is for, if you see in this program, total we have how many number of rows we have? 4 rows. We can have 5 rows, we can have 6 rows, we can have any number of rows. Okay. So we will take this number of rows value from the console. So this n value is for number of rows to take the input from the console. <coughs> Excuse. And this c and d, we have two variables c and d. So c is for each row, first row, second row, third row, fourth row. And d is for, d is for hold the value of each element in the row. Each element in the row, we will be placing it in D. And num is like every time we are incrementing the value. First time we are incrementing 1, second time we are it's go to 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are keep on incrementing the value of number. So I am taking the number variable to increment that. After that, what is the next step is I need to 
iterate i need to first i need to get the value from the console scanner scanner equal to new scanner of system dot in scanner scanner equal to scanner sc equal to new scanner of system dot in this scanner class is used for taking the input from the console this scanner class is used to take the input from the console so int n equal to system dot sorry int n equal to sc dot next int so this next int what it does is whatever the value we have given from the command line or console sorry not command line console it will convert that it will convert that string into integer whatever we have entered in the console it will be string so what this next int will do it will convert it into integer and after this the next step is we need to print the flat triangle floats triangle just i am writing this statement because the, whenever we are printing the flat triangle it will print this line and then it will print the numbers so what is the next step here first step is like i need to print the number 1 okay and then 2 3 so in order to print the rows for int i equal to 1 here we don't have i int c equal to 1 int c equal to 1 c less than or equal to n c plus plus okay so this is for the number of rows so first row second row third row fourth row this for loop is for first so when c is equal to 1 so it will come to the first row when c equal to 2 it will come to the second row so when c equal to 3 it will come to the third row when c equal to 4 it will come to the fourth row okay and uh, sec if you observe this number of elements number of elements is always less than or equal to number of row that means in the first element will be having only one row one element will be having only one element in the first row or less than one okay and in the second uh, row we have two elements in third row we have three elements so what we can do is For in the next for loop, we can write a condition like this: int d equal to one, d less than or equal to c. Why I am writing d less than or equal to c? So c is like row number, d is like number of elements in the row. So always the number of elements in the row is less than or equal to the row number. So that is the reason I have written condition like d less than or equal to c. D plus plus. d plus plus system dot out dot print here we should not write print ln i'll tell you why i am writing print why i am not writing print ln okay i need to print num plus some empty space okay and then i am incrementing the number i'll explain you what i am writing so this is very simple logic and after this i am printing empty space system dot out dot print ln empty space so now i'll explain so first one is int c uh, assume that i have entered number of rows number of rows as 4 I have entered the number of rows as four. So system dot out dot print run flat triangle, and here for int c equal to one, c less than or equal to four. For first time, c will be one. Okay, and uh, c is less than or equal to four. That is true. Okay, and uh, it will come to the inner loop. D equal to one. D less than or equal to c. D equal to one, D less than or equal to C. So D is one, one less than or equal to one. True. 
so it will print system dot out dot print ln it will print num so first it will print one and then what it will do it will increment the value of num to two it will increment the value of num to two it had printed num equal to one why it has printed num equal to one why because i have initialized num to one now it will increment the num value to the two now again the next loop for d equal to one so here already one loop we have iterated initially d is one now it got incremented d plus plus so now d will be two so two less than or equal to c two less than or equal to c so what is c here one two less than or equal to one false so it will come out of this loop okay it will come out of this loop and it will print system dot out dot print and new line so here it will come to the new line this will add new line so hope you guys understood so first it will print one and it will come to the new line now it will start with two three so let's see how it starts with two three so since d is less than or equal to c so d value is two two less than or equal to one false it will come out of this loop and this will print new line now c value will be two c value is two so two less than or equal to four true yeah true now d value will be one okay d value will be one and d less than or equal to c d less than or equal to c okay so one less than or equal to two true now system dot out dot print ln what is the num value in the previous iteration we have incremented num to actually num value is one but as we have incremented to num plus plus now the num value will be two now it will print two now it will print two now come to the now num plus plus now num value is what three here here num value will become num value will become here three now system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln it will add a new line here so hope you guys understood how to print the flat triangle let's run the program run as java application so here i'll write one more statement like enter number of rows enter number of rows okay let's run the program and see the output and i enter the number of rows now i entered 4 so if you see the output it had printed the flat triangle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay So hope you guys understand how to write the Floyd triangle program. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my videos.